Hey, this is Mike. I'm over here at Judd Coon Chevrolet again and checking out this awesome Chevrolet truck. This, this isn't a just a regular uh, Silverado. This is a uh, Rocky Ridge Altitude Edition Silverado. And uh, so, as you can probably see, it's a little bit higher up and uh, it looks just a little bit more awesome than the, the average Silverado you see on the road. Now I called Rocky Ridge in Georgia and I talked to Keith and he kind of explained that this vehicle is a is covered still with the factory warranty through Chevrolet and uh, and everything on here is is basically customized wheels, uh, custom six inch lift and uh, they just kind of just made the truck more awesome I guess you could say and uh, so here in the front we've got the big Chevrolet grill and the fog lights but you also have this uh, LED light bar here that really I've seen a couple of them at night and they are blinding uh, blindingly bright so um, you know if you I guess this really adds a lot of night vision um, just got to be careful I guess with other other drivers because it is very blinding and you got your Rocky Ridge uh, kind of symbol there here on the on the front um, guard brush guard so this one's got a set of Mickey Thompson like an off-road type tire and I like the way everything it has the Rocky Ridge badge on it so you can tell it's a uh, it's a name brand that's quality and uh, you know they're proud of their their name brand and they should be let's take a look here in the in the front let's see if you can see anything under there but just the overall stance of this vehicle um, you can just tell it's no joke it's got the Rocky Ridge Altitude Edition badge there now the window sticker says altered vehicle so it's letting you know that this is, uh, you know, this is not everything. Just because it's on, not on a window sticker doesn't mean it's not on here. And Keith told me that they get these trucks directly from the factory. Chevrolet ships them, uh, the, the the vehicles, and they basically just kind of build it, build it the way they want, depending on you know customer demand. And Judd Coon is a Rocky Ridge. Uh, dealer so I mean if you were to buy this truck it I mean it's lifted up and everything but it's not it's not it isn't kind of like an aftermarket system but it is all covered under warrants you got your lift I mean your um, your step there on the corners of the tailgate which is pretty cool and it says Flowmaster here on the exhaust. You got your towing package. And you've got your, your plugs for your trailer. And here's the backup camera. Now, it's, this tailgate is like really easy to lift up and close. I mean, I just, as you can see, I kind of released it and then kind of let go and it just kind of slowly comes down and then going back up is just really easy to lift up and it is a heavy duty tailgate it's just it's assisted um, I have some kind of spring system in order to um, you know keep you from you know getting a hernia trying to lift up the tailgate now this one has the uh, the, the, the plastic bed liner and I'm curious that um, that a truck like this is it better to have a plastic over the spray, like a spray-in type bed liner? Or is this just kind of giving the customer the choice if they want to take out the plastic and put in a spray-in? Because once you put it, spray it, then it's kind of it's kind of a done deal. But I'm just kind of curious as to if this is a better option and that's why Rocky Ridge chose uh, the, the, the plastic bed liner. Maybe you can chime in on that if you know. I always thought that the, the spray-in was the better option. Z71 off-road badge there. Rocky Ridge. Now 
And I like this, they got these bolts right here to kind of gives you a more rugged look. There's the fuel cap. Definitely need the sidestep on this one. Now let's check out this back seat. Here's the inside of the back door. You've got pockets everywhere, even a bottle holder there. And you've got a slush mat, kind of small one there. Uh, proofreaded leather seats here in the back. This goes down. You got a cup holder. It's not. More, it's more of a cup holder, I guess, than armrest. I guess you could rest your arm there. One piece glass in the back. This lifts up, and you got a. I guess you can you can use this for a storage. It's kind of open though, so I guess um, if so, if you were to put something there, it might come out. But um, I guess. I guess one feature would be lifting up the seats you can actually you know use this as a cargo area so you don't want to put stuff in the back of the truck you get in a box or something it's raining you can put it here behind uh, lift these seats up and put it in here that way it stays dry and secure so that's pretty neat I wonder if they have a cargo mat for that area that would be interesting all right so we've got some po pockets there power supply here Got some tap lights, LED tap lights there, handles. Got a little pocket there. Side airbags. A lot of times I don't even mention the airbags because there's, I mean, almost all vehicles have them. Now, I like the way the side mirror has this little, uh, this little uh, place. It's, you can't feel it, but it has a place that's kind of like a wide angle view, but it's kind of built into the glass, apparently. All right, so here's the inside of the driver's door. And you got your door locks, power windows, and all that good stuff. Side mirrors. This one, somebody's been crawling in and checking it out. It is a new truck, but of course new trucks get dirty too. Now here, you've got your four-wheel drive selector. You have automatic headlights. I see this little switch. Um, I'm assuming that's to the that light bar in the front, so that's something that was added. You got power seat, lumbar support. So I'm gonna crawl in here. Now I'm noticing uh, there's no there's a handle on the other side for the passenger to get in. There's no handle on this side, so I'm assuming you would have to use the steering wheel to get in. So I guess the, the steering wheel is robust enough to uh, to be grabbing hold of and climbing in every time. All right, so here I am in the truck. It's very quiet. Screens are starting to do some stuff there. So let me get the key out. It does have remote start, but uh, I didn't use it, but it does have it. So I'm gonna put the key in and start up. It does have a leather wrapped steering wheel with some stitching here. You have your cruise control on this side. This vehicle is in demonstration mode. Connected by OnStar's high-speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. And um, if I push the OnStar button, it's going to connect me to an operator. So I don't really want to talk to an operator right now. But um, there's some buttons on the back of the steering wheel that I'm feeling. And it's kind of gets me to my presets here on the on the radio. Let's see what the back one they do here. This is a volume, so you got a volume on that side. So it's sort of like the Ram trucks. You can turn the volume up and down. And so these buttons here, kind of the arrows, correspond to this menu system. Got your tire pressure and fuel economy, speed, trips, fuel range, oil life tire pressure and all that stuff all right so let me go back to speed gauges has lots of gauges so you can kind of tell what's going on windshield wipers there's your your shifter there's a column shifter it does have a tow and haul button there and uh, you can change the gears with this button here so you can select the gear the exact gear you want while you're driving if you need to
especially useful for going down a steep grade you can downshift uh, to keep from using your brake so much it does have heated seats here in the front there's the controls for that now this is a touchscreen radio or touchscreen computer system I guess you can say and there's your um, your icons so I'm going to hit navigation and see what the navigation screen looks like it's pretty good and it has very good lettering the lettering is over a little bit oversized so you can read it pretty good all right hit the back button go back here and let's hit the phone see what it does of course there's nothing paired so I guess when you pair your phone you'll have um, access to your contacts and uh, your recent calls and all that good stuff so I'm gonna hit the back button again and let's go to audio so this is showing you know it does have AM FM satellite radio and uh, your presets there at the bottom and head back and your settings Pandora um, text that's an interesting thing so I guess you can once you pair your device you can um, do some some texting there so I'm assuming it's hand free because you know texting and driving is dangerous so I guess it's audio you can say uh, you know text to somebody certain and I guess the voice recognition will kind of help you guide you through it Let's see what weather looks like Okay, I guess it's a little bit delayed all right So show me where I'm at on the map and uh, with a oversized truck icon there and then you've got the um, You know your, your forecast there, which is pretty cool. And then I guess you can you can get a 36 hour Then you can get a daily it's pretty neat so that's a pretty neat system and um, this is my first experience with this type of system so it's pretty easy to use um, even though I've never used one before all right so you've got your buttons there that I was using your volume and stuff like that and your climate controls down here now it's got this little this dial here and you can change the temperature and it's an automatic type system which is cool you can turn your trash control off here you do have a cargo light right there um, your downhill descent button is right here and uh, if it's anything like the Jeeps that's something you don't want to use on dry pavement uh, it's basically for off-road use uh, or slippery surfaces only now it's got all these covers down here and I'll lift this one up and it has a regular like a uh, AC adapter 115 volt AC adapter this one is a regular 12 volt power supply 12 volt power supply and under here is three USB ports which is pretty cool and um, I'm, I'm assuming this I don't really know I haven't tried it but these may be for just uh, they could be for playing music through the system here or they could be for charging um, I'm not really sure all right so you got some pockets down here place to put pins and stuff and I like the way it's kind of it has like a little tier system here and then you got a kind of a big pocket down there and it looks like these are kind of grooved here as to where you can move this cup holder uh, up there or you can have it back here I'm, I'm just assuming that I hadn't tried it now on the side of the console we've got a long, nice big long like a paper holder so you can put like a file folder or some papers or mail or whatever uh, in the side of the console which is really handy because when you get in the truck or you get in your vehicle and you got a lot of papers or mail or something in your hand you just kind of need a place to put it and it's secure there and it's out of the way I like that so here's your armrest center console looks like a good place to put a cell phone there now this lifts up and in here we've got a nice big open area and I can I can assume that that's gonna be filled up with junk fairly fast so you kind of want to watch that now on the sides here it looks like it's got a little place to put a pen or something on both sides or maybe a tray goes there I'm not really sure power supply there got that pocket now over here you have your connectivity um, this is where your SD card USB and auxiliary inputs are and I'm pretty sure this is for uh, playing music on the radio so that's if it's anything like the other trucks or other vehicles uh, that's what that's for now up here on the rearview mirror you have your on star button you have a SOS button and uh, you have a voice recognition type button here and LED tap light and um, if I'm not mistaken this is a little infrared sensor for the um, for the climate control tell it what the temperature is in the cabin 
here's a place to put some sunglasses. Now on the inside it's kind of like rubberized. It's not, it's kind of rubbery feeling in there, so I guess protect your sunglasses. It's kind of small, so if you got like real big 70s uh, sunglasses or something, or you know, just some, I don't know, big glasses, or they, it may not fit in there. So, interesting. So here's your visor, and it has LED lights. Now notice this vehicle has like everything LED, which is neat. LED lights there and a mirror. Same thing on that side. Have a locking glove compartment there. And then another glove compartment down there, which I don't see a lock for. All right, let's try to look under the hood. It's like the truck's really tall. So I'm gonna try to hold the camera up so you can see. Um, now before I do that, let me go ahead and put it in reverse. So we can see what the back camera looks like. Now there's a vehicle right behind us, but you can see the bumper pretty good. And it goes all the way from the bumper all the way up to the sky. And it's kind of a wide angle view. So um, that's, that's pretty good. Very handy. Backing up, hooking up to a trailer, backing up in general. Now on the sides here, I notice there's a little bit of a, uh, a blind spot on the very edge of the bumper. So if you're doing a real sharp turn, you want to check your uh, your side mirrors for sure. And then you want to do that anyway when you're backing up. But um, you know, I can tell that it's a little bit uh, cut off there. All right. It is telling me that the hood is open good to know if you don't know you know your hoods open and you can drive around and hood flapping in the breeze all right so it is spring except spring assisted instead of like pistons or whatever so on the um, window sticker it was telling it was saying that this is a v6 v truck but this is actually has looks like a v8 I'm seeing four spark plugs on one side and uh, pretty smooth running engine too. Very quiet. Let's check out the uh, the exhaust sound with the Flowmasters. Not too loud right now idling but um, <laughs> you know I don't have permission to be revving engines and stuff so I'm not gonna be revving it but anyway but anyway if you have any questions um, you know I'm, I'm just now learning about the Rocky Ridge uh, trucks and what they do and um, so I'm sure that there's some stuff that I missed out on or got wrong so if you can you know correct me in the in the comments there and you know we can learn this stuff together so Really appreciate you watching the video, and if you can like uh, the video, subscribe, share it with a friend, I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.